Well, I'm pretty sure almost every single person on this planet has seen the Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis on their bucket list. And let me tell you, last night was the time of a lifetime for billions of people all across the world as an incredible G5 geomagnetic storm made the Aurora Borealis or the Northern Lights visible to so many people across our planet. I've seen so many hundreds of pictures on my Twitter, on my Instagram, on my Facebook. I mean, the pictures are just countless. I've retweeted so many pictures. I mean, the the pictures are just absolutely incredible. And not only were a lot of people on the northern side of our country able to see it, but we had reports of people seeing it as far south as the Florida Keys and the Bahamas, which obviously made it visible here in South Carolina. Me and my friend went to Tabor City or just to the south of Tabor City in northern Horry County located in South Carolina. And let me tell you, me and my friend were not disappointed. We It wasn't perfectly visible to the naked eye, but once you turn on your phone's camera and turn off the flash and put it in night mode, if you held it in the sky for about five seconds or around that time it got an incredible photo and here's just a few, a few of the photos that I got last night here's the clouds right here here's the horizon look at all of these colors that just were engulfing our atmosphere we had purples we had reds we had blues we had greens the pictures are just absolutely incredible here's another look here's the white I mean you can clearly tell I mean even not even to the naked eye it may not have been incredibly visible to our naked eye but we still could see that tint and something that's not um, usually in our atmosphere telling us that there that this was an absolutely incredible storm to say at least and this is probably one of my favorite photos that I've took I actually was able to get some pillars on camera here's one of them right there you had white you had pink you had purple I mean you almost had a little bit of a yellow tint down here I was absolutely in shock and I'm pretty sure most of you were as light and here's a look at a photo that my mentor took this is Ed Petrowski in Carolina Forest South Carolina this was not with the naked eye this was with this camera that had incredible exposure on it but I mean still look at this picture this is not something that we can normally see here in Carolina Forest in Horry County in South Carolina all of these pillars you had pinks you had purples you had whites you had yellows along the horizon I mean this is an incredibly rare storm to see this far south in South Carolina or anywhere across the lower 48 this far south. An incredible storm to say the least. Now, why exactly did this happen? It's something that's called a geomagnetic storm. And if I'm being honest, I'm still learning all of the bits and pieces as far as what a geomagnetic storm is. But from what I've learned, this is exactly what a geomagnetic just this is exactly what a geomagnetic storm is. Here's the sun right here, and the sun is continuously releasing a lot of solar flares and a lot of solar activity into our um, into our solar system. And all these white contour lines, this is all solar uh, solar activity that is being released from the sun. It all travels in different directions, but some of them get very, very close, if not coming right into Earth. But thankfully, we have something that's called the atmosphere or the magnetosphere that a lot of times protects us from seeing all of this solar activity or radiation hitting our planet. That's why it is known by the magnetosphere right here. All these lines, this is basically a blanket that is covering the that is uh, covering our planet from being protected by the solar activity. However, in the rare cases that you get a strong enough geomagnetic storm like we had being at a G5, what can happen is this solar activity can go around the magnetosphere into either the north or the south pole and become visible all the way close to the equator in some cases, like we saw last night, making the northern lights visible to billions of people all across the northern and the southern hemisphere. Obviously, as you go closer to the equator in the mid in the mid latitude regions, the lower chance you have of seeing the northern lights. But if you are anywhere, you know, further south in the South Pole, or excuse me, in the, in the southern hemisphere, or if you're further north in the northern hemisphere, closer to the North Pole, you have a very good chance at seeing these types of uh, solar storms, especially whenever they do happen. Now. It's crazy to even think that we saw it happen last night, but it's even crazier to think that we have another chance of seeing it tonight. Here's a look at the Aurora forecast for tonight. I mean, an incredible forecast all across the northern half of the, of, um, of the northern hemisphere, across the, across the Arctic Circle. The whole entire country of Canada will be seeing this across, aside, um, along with Greenland as well. Now, I know that it only shows it getting as far south as portions of South Dakota into um, Minnesota, into Wisconsin, and also right along the North Dakotas. But but keep in mind, this is the exact same forecast that we saw last night, and we saw it all the way down here into parts of Florida and the Keys. So don't, so please take this forecast with a grain of salt, but just know there's a very good chance that if you live anywhere across the lower 48 that it may not be visible to the naked eye, but you will most likely be able to see another glimpse of the Northern Lights tonight. 
Now, how are you going to be able to see this? You need to be looking at the darkest place that you can possibly find away from light pollution, and you want to be looking at the lowest point possible, either right at the horizon, if not just above the horizon. If you're any, if you're like near any big city, such as Myrtle Beach or Conway or anything like that, I would definitely advise you to try and take a road trip, maybe like an hour or so away, just to try and find the darkest place possible, because this is not an event that we will be seeing likely happen anytime soon. And thankfully, as soon as that cold front is now offshore, which it is offshore now, our forecast for viewing these early lights tonight is going to be absolutely great. Mostly clear skies all night long. Temperatures will also be very comfortable in the mid to, excuse me, in the low to mid um, 60s, maybe even the upper 60s for your 8 o'clock hour. Once again, the forecast for viewing tonight is absolutely incredible. So I'm not sure what everybody has planned going on tonight, but I really do hope that you will take some time out of your night tonight and find the darkest area possible to see this once in a lifetime opportunity of seeing the Northern Lights. I hope you all have a great day. Hope hope you hope everybody has a great night. If you have any questions about this event, feel free to email me or me, message me on Facebook, and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you might have. All right, that's it. I hope you have a great day.